Mr. Dolly provided an environment where it wasn't about competing with your peers, it was about working with them. He pretty much taught me everything I know, from editing to directing to cinematography to every element in film. Without him, this it, we there wouldn't there wouldn't have been as much, if any, like truly like great talent coming out of here as there was in the last since he took over in the, in the 90s, you know? You were dumping me at prom! You dumped me! You dumped me, all you kids! I hate you! Are you guys really going out of business? Yeah. See, the uh, music industry's changing. We're not really a part of it anymore. I would never have pushed myself to explore my creative side if it wasn't for Mr. Dolby. When he's actually like playing a character, he does it so funny and so well, it makes like everyone just laugh. And I just love that. I learned more from Dolby than I did from PhDs and doctors over at Wayne State. And I th I could never shake that. What are you doing? I'm Carjacker Kurt, the most notorious carjacker in all the Wayne County. Just a minute! Hi. What do you want? Mr. Dolly has basically changed my life in terms of actually getting me ready for the real world instead of um, teaching me stuff that I don't need to know. Well, he tells us you are good what you do is great, believe in yourself. He really means that. He, he really does. He says it a lot because he actually sees it in people. We get a bunch of good shots and everything. And, you know, we start posting up, we're having a good time, and then Dolly pops in. He's like, all right, let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> all right, kids. <laughs> all right, kids. He throws some zany idea out there. <laughs> hey, why don't we try it this way? Hey, we're like, what if? Yeah, the what if. Here's the what if. Here's the what if. He pulls us aside and be like, Here's the pitch! Here's the what? Here's the pitch! Here's the pitch! Here's the pitch! Here's the pitch. Here's the pitch. That's, that's the Dolly. Was, here's the pitch. That's the one. Mr. Dolly was always there for us. He never, ever said no when we couldn't do something. He would always just move his plans out of the way and do for us. He acts as if he's, he's a bad actor, but he's not. He's, he's honestly probably one of the best actors I've met. <laughs> but he always plays it down, but yeah. Um, yeah, that's always been one of my favorite uh, moments, just watching him act as different characters, especially how zany they could be as well. Hey, do you mind? What, is this yours? Yeah. Huh? That's nice. Listen, whatever goes around, comes around, hot shot. You may be king now, but you may want to think about tomorrow. You know what, old man? Yeah. You can stuff it. I have an idea. Oh, chocolate boy! Chocolate boy, come here! Ah! I'm making you be my chocolate maker! Oh, Augustus Glock. We're not doing a movie about your hero, Willy Wonka. No! No, goodbye! Oh. What do you think? I'm running a soup kitchen here, Pally? Either you pay up, or you're gonna take up a room in the House of Pain. You got it? WJHS is losing a legend. Like. It was founded by Russ Gibb. It was continued by Kurt Dolly. Like, they're in the pantheon of WDHS. His commitment to this program is by far the most humbling thing I've ever seen. And he helped me realize that, wow, this is what I want to do with my life. So, man, he's taught me so much. Dolly helped me. Is, he's also helped me just be more confident in my abilities as well. He always, even in the most stressful shoots and the worst conditions, he always made us all laugh. When I was in his class, he'd always be there as an open ear for me to talk to and just whenever I needed help, I could come to him. I used to be super shy and he just brought me out of my shell. He was just there on set for almost all of the shoots. He was always involved, always help, helping. I could talk to him. Mr. Dolly definitely instilled an appreciation for film, creativity, hard work, um, being proud of an end result, doing your absolute best and 
working with a team. Mostly now, I just get a bunch of rich folks to bring their boats up here to winterize them. Yeah. Even that's dying down. The fishing, you know, the fishing's what we're all about, but fish are drying up a little bit. We're gonna take you home. We're gonna soak that leg in drawn butter. And then we're gonna bandage it real tight so it doesn't fester with pus. You don't want to end up like Limpy Joe, does he? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Dooley. Thank you, Mr. Dooley. Thank you, Mr. Dooley. Thanks, Mr. Dooley. Thank you, 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 Mr. Dooley. Thank you so much, Mr. Dooley. Thanks, Mr. Dooley. Thanks, Mr. Dooley. Thank you, 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 Mr. Dooley. Words cannot describe how much I appreciate what you've done for us and for me and for everyone that you've come in contact with. You've, you've touched everybody uh, for the better. So thank you.